hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is daniel if you are just coming across this channel i talk about agricultural opportunities and other business opportunities in nigeria and the world in general if you watch my previous videos where i talked about being in anambra to train people how to successfully hash catfish so that is what we are doing now um the first step uh, you need to do if you want to hatch a catfish is to see that you carefully select the blue stock. Blue stock are mature male and female fish that are at least I say one year plus that you can use to hatch a fish. The female blue stock will have the head, while the male blue stock will have the sperm where you that you be using. The female blue stock should be at least one year plus before you can say you will be able to use it and you need to check the female blue stock to see that the eggs are mature for hatching that you, you don't just select and use any blue stock to hatch you have to see that the eggs are mature enough for hashing and that is what we are checking in the farm i mean i'm and Brad presently just to reach uh, hatch this fish for them and that is what we're doing so first thing like i said is to see that the female blue stock check the female blue stock you see that the eggs are mature for hashing the next thing after carefully selecting the blue stock that you are going to be using to hatch is to weigh the fish the female blue stock to know the size and the weight of the fish you are going to be using i personally don't uh, do that but if you are a beginner and you want to learn you should actually know the size of the female blue stock you'll be using so so that you know the number of meal you'll be injecting the female fish with so that you don't under inject the fish or over inject the fish the size of the fish is two kilograms which means you are going to be injecting one meal of overlay you can use over prime if you want uh, anyone works fine depending on the location you are and the one that is readily available in your location one thing that you need to be sure of when injecting is you have to carefully hold the fish and cover the face of the female fish while injecting so that the fish will not fall off wherever you put it while injecting the fish and after injecting the fish carefully rub the surface where you injected it for like two seconds then put it back inside the water uh, a separate water do not put two fish together leave it after putting it in the water you can cover it and you might decide not to cover it depending on the system that works for you leave it for at least eight hours before the fish is ready sometimes if it's not ready after eight hours it might long through like 10 hours or 11 hours depending on the weather that we have and depending on the uh hormone that you use it's the next morning after injecting the female booster most times i advise you inject in the night this particular one we injected around 10 30 in the night and now before we do anything we've gone to check the female booster to see whether or not it is ready for stripping if it's not ready we would have left it for some hours more to get it ready one thing that you should notice is for it to be sure that the fish is ready a gentle press of the female blue stock will actually bring out some eggs out of out of it or you will see that the eggs are releasing inside the water then you will see that that will give you um, a note that it is get the fish is ready for stripping so once you know that the fish is ready for stripping then you have to get the male blue stock to remove the milk sack if you don't know what milk sack is it is the spam that we are going to be using to mix the eggs that we get from the female blue stock some people kill the male blue stock immediately before removing the milk sack but what we do is actually to uh, dissect with a blade the belly of the male blue stock before removing the milk sack at the end of the day we are still going to kill it but for using the milk sack we only dissect the belly to remove the milk sack most times i advise people to get at least three to five male blue stock because sometimes you might not see milk sack in some male blue stock it is very normal so that you don't just go around with looking for 
meal brew stock so get at least three to five meal brew stock uh, ready for use after removing the milk sack from the meal brew stock one thing that you should get ready before stripping your fish is a salt solution if you don't know how to do that because you have to be very careful so that salt will not be too much because too much of salt if you use it to mix your eggs and your meat sack is going to kill the eggs if you are not sure the quantity of salt you should put in water to get the adequate taste and the adequate amount of salt then you can use three what we call an intravenous fluid IV you can use that as a substitute to using salt solution so uh, once you get that salt solution the next thing is to strip your fish gently when stripping your female rooster gently rub the belly of the fish so that the eggs will start coming out in a bowl you don't force the eggs to come out you gently rub it and strip the fish don't squeeze the fish so that you won't uh, injure the fish so gently gently rub the belly of the fish so that the eggs will come out inside the bowl once you do that then you mix your meat sack with your eggs mix it very well but not hardly you don't mix it too hard but mix it very well you cut the meat sack with a blade and use your salt solution to wash that meat sack the eggs and gently mix the eggs with the meat sack before moving to the next stage which is the final stage the final stage in the hashing process is to spread the egg on the cacaba that you have put inside the pond that you are going to be using for hashing our advice if there are two people on the farm to separate the eggs and the bowl into two we divide it into so that the two of you can spread the eggs on the cacaba but if you are the only one fine you can just continue spreading the eggs by yourself but the major thing is to see that you carefully spread the eggs on the cacapa every handle make sure that you don't close that the eggs in just one side uh, so that at the end of the day when they begin to hash they won't sleep on each other after spreading the eggs on the cacamba, if your hashi is in an open place, then you have to cover the pond that you are using uh, with something thick so that the will be eat for the fish to hash. If it's in a closed or maybe a roofed place, if the heat is not too much, you might decide whether or not to actually cover the pond. But the major thing is, after spreading the eggs on the cacamba, they leave it for at least 24 hours, then come back to check whether your eggs are hashed or not so we are going to leave this for the next 24 hours to come back to see our results so we are here to check if the fish that we did yesterday to see how well they perform today what I can see you might not be able to see it because they are still tiny I can see lots of them swimming in the water but we are still going to leave it for at least three hours more before before removing the net from the water finally Checking the second one. Wow, they are much good. Wow, this is amazing. Third one, I'm going to check. Yeah, the fishes are there. The 
that's a success story so this is just 20 hours after wait for like 24 hours but from what we can see 20 hours after there are a lot of fish and still more to be under by the time they are three days old you are going to see them more you're going to see them more so i'll be showing you that as well We use two female blue stock in four different ponds to hatch these fishes and we've seen a good results. 